Yo guys, Code Life here. So in this video today guys, I'm going to showcase the best game user settings in Fortnite Season 2 that will boost your FPS, reduce your input delay, and also give you a ton of secret advantages that will give you all a huge advantage in game. Guys, if this video does help you out, then be sure to help me out back by dropping a like on it and subscribing for more videos like this. Oh as well, be sure to check out my website gamesettings.com to find out what the best pros are using to game in Fortnite, Valorant, and CSGO. Now though, let's go ahead and get into the best game user settings for Fortnite Season 2. Okay guys, so before we do configure our config, we firstly must reset it. What this will do is it'll give it a fresh start, it'll give you an FPS boost, and on top of that, it'll give you access to new code that Fortnite have actually implemented in the new season inside of a config in itself. But before we do reset it guys, what we must do is make sure that Fortnite is actually closed completely, as you can see mine is, and then we also must go to the task tray at the bottom right of Windows and make sure our Epic Games launcher is also closed by right clicking on it and pressing exit. After that guys, we can now find the config by pressing Windows key and R at the same time. After you've done that, a run box should appear. Inside of this, type in the following command, that's percentage sign local app data and then percentage sign again, just like that. Press OK. Inside of this local folder right here, you want to find the Fortnite game file by just pressing F, as you can see, Fortnite game. Go inside of that, go inside of saved, go inside of config, Go inside of Windows Client, and then boom, you'll see the config file right there called Game User Settings. What you want to do, guys, is go ahead, click on this, and just delete it, just like that, and it should be empty. Once you've done that, guys, you can now open up Fortnite. Then, after loading in, guys, you should notice that your background is blue, and this means that it has actually worked. On top of that as well, your Game Settings um, in Fortnite should be fully um, like weird and reset. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and change all these back, but it's just in the video tab. All the rest of these settings will just be the same as they always are, but what got reset is the video settings tab. So we're going to go ahead and put our windowed mode on full screen, resolution on 1920 by 1080, our FPS cap, you can cap it to any of your monitor's refresh rates, but I myself right now, I'm really enjoying Unlimited, brightness 100, colorblind mode can be off or whatever you want, brightness can be on whatever you want. I'm um, scrolling down to graphics quality, uh, you want to make sure that your 3D resolution is on 100%. Your view distance, this can be on near, medium, or even far. But I really like medium as it's a good balance of being able to see items and builds from very far away. I think it's a max distance without losing a lot of FPS. If you go to far slash epic, you could lose a lot more FPS. But if you're on medium, you get the benefits of seeing items from very far away, but not losing too much FPS. So I really like medium on the view distance. The shadows, you want to have that on off. And aliasing, you want to have that on off as well. Textures, I recommend using either low or medium. I've heard that if you actually use textures on medium, you can get a slight FPS boost compared to low because it makes your GPU work harder than your CPU, which if you do have a really high-end GPU, but not so much high-end CPU, this can really benefit you as that's what I've got with my 1080 Ti graphics card. For auto-download high-resolution textures, you want to have that off. Same with the reminders, have that off as well. For effects, you want to have that off. For post-processing, you want to have that off as well. And then scrolling down to advanced graphics, you want to make sure V-Sync is off. Motion blur is off as well. Short FPS, this can be on or off, it's up to you. I like to have it off personally. Render mode, you want to make sure that is on performance mode as that should give you the most FPS possible. As well as that, if you want to use low meshes or high meshes, here's a comparison on screen of what they look like. For me though, I always prefer using low meshes as it gets me the most FPS possible out of the two. For allow multi-threaded rendering, to find out what's better between off and on, I recommend referring to the minimum specifications. For on, you must have at least 8GB of RAM, 2 gigabytes of VRAM and your CPU should at least have 8 physical or virtual cores so many 4 core CPUs should work for this and that'll be great for you guys but to find out how many cores your CPU has it's really simple just press ctrl alt delete at the same time this should bring up this menu right here just click on task manager and then inside of task manager under the performance tab right here at the bottom right you should see cores and then logical processors as you can see I've got 4 cores and 8 logical processors so I am good to go to use that setting and Finally, for NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency Mode, I highly recommend using either ON or ON Plus Boost. Whichever gives you the most FPS possible out of these two options, I recommend using. But you definitely want to use the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency Mode as this will heavily reduce your input delay. It's amazing and it works amazingly well with Performance Mode. But yeah guys, as you can see, that's all of my video settings reset now. We can go ahead, apply, back out, and we can now close down Fortnite and head back into our game user settings config file. Now to get back into our config file, just do what we did before, press the Windows key plus R at the same time, and then inside the run box, press percentage sign local data, and then percentage sign again, press OK, go into the Fortnite game file, saved, 
config, Windows client, and then we wanna go ahead and click on this, right click actually, and then press edit just like that. And now we've got our game user settings file right here, guys. So getting straight into it, guys. Firstly, I wanna say something about the show grass setting right here. Now I've said in previous tutorials to turn this to false, but what I found out guys is it actually does nothing in the base game mode of Battle Royale. It only affects Save the World Fortnite, not the actual Battle Royale game mode. The only thing that will disable grass in Fortnite Battle Royale is actually having it on performance mode under the rendering setting, which we should already have. Next up, we've got the brand new settings, which is the ray tracing settings. For these guys, you wanna make sure that ray tracing shadows quality is set to false and not true, just like that you want to make sure that the reflections quality is set to zero and not two for ambient occlusion quality you want to change this from true to be on false and then for the AO quality you want to turn that to zero from one just like that guys and you were all good to go on the ray tracing setting scrolling down for the display gamma what this actually does is it changes your brightness in game so if you've got it on 2.2 this will equate to be on 100% brightness inside of Fortnite that is a misconception that I just thought I'd clear up scrolling down guys I've got another misconception which is the B disable mouse acceleration now as you guys know if we actually turn this to true which I have recommended in previous tutorials you'd imagine that this would disable mouse acceleration inside of Fortnite but no, it actually doesn't, as Fortnite uses raw input, as you can see on screen right here from my testing. So to actually disable mouse acceleration, you want to temporarily minimize your config. You want to go into Windows firstly, you want to type in mouse settings, should come up just like that if you type in mouse, and then inside of your mouse settings, you want to go to the right hand side where it says additional mouse options, click on that, close down this bit here, and then where it says mouse properties, under pointer options, you want to make sure that this is unchecked, enhance pointer precision, and then you also finally want to make sure that your mouse software, so for me I use a Logitech G Pro Wireless, so I've got the Logitech G Hub, you want to go inside of your software and make sure that there's no options that says like tick to use mouse acceleration. I believe Logitech actually have it disabled by default, but as you can see, there's no sort of option in here that indicates that I'm using mouse acceleration. I've got it turned off in Windows, and I've also got it turned off in my uh, mouse software, which is great. After that, guys, you can return back to your config, and again, you can just disregard this setting right here. Then you can scroll down to the bottom, guys, and we want to look for scalability groups. As you can see, under scalability groups, we want to make sure that your resolution quality is at 100%. If this isn't at 100%, you may get blurriness, slash screen tearing in game for your view distance this can be on zero or one again like i mentioned earlier view distance on medium can actually give you a big advantage in game so it's up to you and for your illumination quality this should be on zero from free same with your reflection quality that is very important for textures this can be on zero or one again like i mentioned earlier guys your textures being on medium could give you an fps boost it could not as well it's something you need to try out for yourselves but for me since i'm using it on medium mine is on one but yours can be on zero and then finally guys so we want to make sure that foliage quality is set from 2 to be on 0. And then same with shader quality as well. You want to make sure that that is set to 0 as well, guys. And that right there is the best game user settings for Fortnite in Season 2, guys. Now we can go ahead and go to the save tab right there. Press file. Click on save. And then after closing it down, guys, you can actually open up your config right here again. And if you have changed your resolution back to a stretched resolution, you can go into properties and make sure a read only is ticked. But if you're not using a stretched resolution and you're like me using 1920 by 1080 native resolution, just go ahead and leave the read only box unchecked just like that. And now you can go ahead, close down your config, open up Fortnite, and you should be able to enjoy your brand new best config settings for Fortnite Season 2. Guys, using these settings, you should see a noticeable boost in your FPS as well as a reduction in your input delay, especially when using that low latency NVIDIA setting um, in game. It's amazing. You need to try it out if you haven't already. Be sure to try it out with performance mode. It works wonders. It just feels great in game. But that right there, guys, again, has been the best game user settings for Fortnite Season 2. If this video did help you out, then feel free to help me out back by dropping a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and using code LIFE in the Fortnite item shop. As well as that, be sure to check out my website, gamesettings.com, to find out what the best pros in Fortnite, CSGO and Valorant are using to play their games. I'll leave a link in the description below.